Hello and welcome to a new video in the Upwing Summer channel. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic. Lots of you probably heard about ChatGPT, the tool which has changed the world completely, not only at a commercial level but in everything. So because of this tool, when you see something written, you don't know if it's written by a person or a machine. With ChatGPT, you can write pieces of code, but not a full application. Here is where OpenSava enters, which is an open source framework in which you can create an app writing a small amount of code. Using ChatGPT's help, little by little we can obtain a fully functional Java application without writing code. Well, to start, let's create a new OpenSava project. To do so, we click on Open Server and then on Open Server Project. As for the project name, we're going to call it Invoicing. Group ID is com dot your company, and obviously in English is a language. We click on Finish, and when the project is created, we go to Invoicing src main java com dot your company invoicing model, and we delete the class called your first entity. Then we go to ChatGPT and we ask it to write the code for an open server entity for customer. An entity is a class in Java, which in this case represents the concept of customer, and the data inside the customer are stored in the database. As we can see, this class is too long. To reduce it, we're going to ask it to use at getter and at setter of Lombok to take away the at getter and at setter of the code. As we can see, now they are implemented, so the code is correct. We copy it using the button. Now we go back to OpenSava and we right click on com.yourcompany.invoicing.model and we create a new class called customer. Click finish and here we paste the code we copied from ChatGPT. Oh, he invented the add column length and add caption. That's why we go into ChatGPT and we tell it to delete them. Let's see. Oh, let's set it to use add column to set the column length as this one does exist. I hope it's finally correct. Yes, we copy it and back it up in server, we delete the package as he has invented one, but we already have one we made ourselves. After that, we paste the code and again delete the package. Now we save, if this appears, we click OK, then, ah, oh, there's still a mistake. For the I required to work, we have to put its inputs. To do this, we click Control 1 bar on the mistake, and we click the second option. Then we save, and as you can see, it's now fixed. Now we click the run button, and when this URL appears, we copy it. Once in the browser, we paste it, and then we sign in with the user and password admin. Then we click on the customer section in the menu, and as you can see, this display to create a customer comes out. Let's create a customer ourselves. As ID, we're going to put one, well, as a name, John, and as a last name, Will Smith, and obviously then as an email, so we put John Smith at gmail.com we click on save and now let's create another one this one has an id of two for the name let's call her anna and as the last name let's put uh, mask uh, as an email well let's change the size of the email from the last one so this one let's put anna at yahoo.mx we save this one as well, and now we go to the list, and as you can see, both customers appear there. Now we go back to ChatGPT to ask it to write the code for invoice, so it represents the concept of invoice. Let's check if it's correct. Wait, no, add caption doesn't exist, and also we have to tell it that if it uses add getter and add setter. It doesn't have to write the code for it. I hope now it does it correctly. Let's see. 
yes it's correct therefore we copy it and back in open server we right click on com.eurocompany.invoicing.model and we go to new class and we call it invoice then we click on finish and here we paste the code we copied from ChatGPT, deleting the sample package line it gave us. Then we press Ctrl S so the imports are organized automatically. Then we click run again. And in the browser, we refresh the page where our app is running. Then we sign in and we go to the invoices section in the menu. Now let's create one. We prefer sample 1 for ID and then we look for customers and here we choose for example the first one. As you can see its ID is 1 and if we change it to 2 it changes to the other customer. Now here we have to put some details of the invoice. For date let's put the 13th of the 7th of 2023 and for amount 1200. Then we save and in the list of invoices we have the one we created and we can enter and change it if needed. Now we go back to ChatGPT and we ask it to add detail lines to an invoice so it has the lines that make the invoice and so that the customers know what they're paying for. As we can see this code uses add one to many. We have to ask it to use add element collection, so a relation between the lines and the invoice is created, so if the invoice is deleted, also its lines are deleted. Let's see, still is imperfect. We have to tell it to remove the add remove detail methods, as they are not needed. Yes, it's finally correct, so we copy it. And back in OpenSava, we paste it. This is in red because the invoice detail class isn't created. So let's do it. We right click on invoice detail and here we click create class invoice detail. Then we click finish and now it's created. We save and back in ChatGPT, we're going to ask it to create the class invoice detail so that the products, the quantity and the price that make the invoice are displayed. Let's see if it does it correctly. No, we ask it to add property, which is the total of the line. Let's see, it's still not correct. We tell it to use add calculation so that the computer does the calculation of the amount of the line. I hope it's finally correct. No, we tell it that add calculation does exist and we give it an example so it understands how it works. It's finally correct, so we copy it. Then we go back to OpenSava and here we paste the code. After this, we go back to ChatGPT and now we ask it to add the add list properties annotation to the details collection in inputs to tell it the properties that have to be shown in the detail. Let's see if it's correct. Yes! We copy it and back in OpenSava we paste it and we click run. Here we copy and paste the URL back in the browser. Then we sign in and we click on the invoice we created before. In details, let's create a few products. For example, let's put a BMW 330i with a price of 51,000 and let's put 2 as a quantity. Now let's create a second product, this one being a Tesla Model 3 with a price of 53,900 and only one of them. We click the summary and here we can see the total. Now we save and in the list, if we enter again, in this invoice we can see that the two products are there. Now back in ChatGPT, we ask it to split the customer in invoice using a combo. We also ask it to remove the amount property from invoice and use add view to put ID and date as a fast field. We ask it to use a combo so you can understand how they work and that ChatGPT can create a combo and it can work in OpenSava. Also, removing the amount property is asked as it is not needed due to OpenSava calculating it automatically and we can use uh, add view 
so the ID and date are displayed at the top. As we can see, it's so awesome perfect. We ask it to use customer in ad view, as by putting ID and date first, it forgot to put the customer in ad view. As you can see now, it is included, but it's still not correct. We tell it that the customer does not have a property called full name, as this property has been invented by ChatGPT, and we'll give an error if the application is executed. Let's see if it's fixed. No, it is still wrong. Let's expand our explanation so ChatGPT understands it and fixes it. Therefore, we tell it that a customer has a first name and the last name property, but not a full name one. So use those and add descriptions list. Let's see. No, there's another issue. It added a uh, add column for ID. So we tell it to remove it as before it wasn't there. So it was stored differently in the database. I hope it's finding it correct. Yes, it's finally correct, so we copy it. We go back to OpenSaba and we paste the code, then say, Wait, there is a mistake. Oh, separator doesn't exist. We delete it, save again, and then click Run. Then, back in the browser, we refresh the page. We log in, and here we click on the invoice we already had created. As you can see, we have ID, date and customer at the top in the order we want it and as we can see the combo in customer also works oh we forgot to put the amount we go back and we add it manually in add list properties and run the app as well we reload again log in and now as you can see it is there oh there's some mistake sorry I meant 53,900 for Tesla. My bad. Now, using the combo, we can change to the other customer and we save. Now, when we go to the list, the invoice is updated with the new customer. In conclusion, ChatGPT is an incredible tool which can make you save lots of work. But you have to know about the topic because every now and then it makes mistakes. And into this, you have seen how combining it with OpenSaber, you can have a functional application in a few minutes without writing code. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please consider liking it, subscribing and commenting if you have any doubts. Also, I encourage you to try it in your own house. Open OpenSaber Studio, ChatGPT, and start creating your own application.